Hey guys, Steven John here, and with the last Space Engineers update, they added um, grinders for small ships. So that led me to make this ship right here. Um, it's just a normal ship, four large thrusters, and what it is is a pirate scavenging ship. So we go inside these doors right here that I built. So basically this is like the main ship for the pirates. <coughs> There's a little bridge right here and it goes up. So this would be kind of like their base that they send out and you have like med bay, assembler, refinery, all the stuff you need. And so they would send this on like missions. Oh and since it's a pirate ship I had to put another one with purple stripes on it because you know FTL if you guys played that game then pirates all pirate ships have like the color of pirates is purple in that game so I kind of just had to do it but um so basically with this ship it'd be like a ship that the pirates would send out to go out on missions like after a battlefield or like if they know like a huge ship has crashed and they could just be like scanning the area and if they see something that's valuable like that ship right there it's pretty big then they can get some of the crew that's on board and go in here oh and there's and this ship's pretty roomy I mean like you have the upper bridge like there's two areas so I mean you could fit a good amount of people in here and resources and so some people would be like, okay, this is a good ship. And so they'd come over here to these little things. They're like scavenging, scavenging drones. And so you just unlock. And then, oh, oh that's not good. Get my ship. And then just fly out the back, basically. And then they go off to the battlefield. And these... Let's see if we can get it pointed in the right direction. Oh, maybe turning inertia damper sign would help. But so these go out with their little small grinders added in the newest update. And they can they come and start like right here. Um, drop this to the weapon slot. So they can just take these and start like two of them per ship you can <coughs> have like a little squad of like maybe three of those other large yellow ships back there and they come out so like six of these things would start coming out and like taking apart these pieces of the ship and like this is just small and they have a lot of a lot of cargo they have two medium cargo bins back there so I mean they could they could, they could be like mine at this thing for a long time so they could they go in here and they're like oh we need this assembler and so they start like mining at it and getting all the pieces so I mean it it worked for a really good like pirate system so like after a huge battle if there's like a ton of crashed ships then just like a group of pirates could send out come out here and send a bunch of these little things out and they just completely like take everything that was useful from the battle like if there's like a huge fleet battle between two huge factions once they do add factions so I mean this kind of stuff would be perfect if there was like for a pirate uh, group that just goes out and, like sees other people or like maybe someone they abandon their old base because they got like hit with meteorites or something like you could just come in here with these little ships and then completely just get like all the stuff you need and then once you're done with the mission you just come back and then park it in here oh, there we go. and then they're inside the ship and you can oh, no, I that on. <coughs> and then you got other pieces so you go back in the ship and then you just carry on with the rest of the fleet so I mean, I, I thought this idea was pretty cool. 
Especially, it'd be cool for like a survival map type thing. Where if you just spawned off with like a, kind of like the crash ship. And just with one of these pirate ships. Or like the little drones. And so you gotta like fly around and scavenge a ton of like crash ships and asteroids around. To try to get enough pieces to build up your ship so you can like fly away or something. Or like maybe there's a sector that you're trying to get out of. But there's like armored uh, ships. And so you have to like scavenge um, like turrets and weapons so you can fight against them. That'd be pretty cool. But so yeah, that's just an idea that I was working on. I thought it was pretty fun. We were on a survival server with my friend. And I built the, the exact little thing. Like I made the little ship and was like, I love this ship. And so I was like, I gotta make a bigger scavenger ship for this. So I built this thing. But it it was it was pretty fun. It was me and my friend, and we were just chilling. It was like a junkyard of ships. And you would just take them apart and scavenge the ships. So I don't know. I, I think that part of the game is definitely a really fun part of it, and people should do it more often because I mean, it's pretty cool. I mean, who doesn't want to go in after a huge battle and like see all the crash ships? Just like go in there, steal all the loot. I mean, that is pretty fun. <coughs> so thanks for watching, guys. Um, see you next time. Hey guys, this is a video that I recorded suddenly, but um, basically it was, it was pretty cool. I don't know. This ship was crashed into the asteroid, the red ship, and then Ben was trying to crash the yellow ship into the other side of the asteroid. But it went through the asteroid and came out the other side and hit the other ship. <laughs> like, lol. I don't know, it was just funny that it happened like that. So it looks pretty cool. These look like planetary annihilation thrusters out of the out of the asteroid. To like shoot to shoot the asteroid at other people's bases. It looks pretty cool.